Right, jumping onto another one. So these these videos are a bit staggered. I'm waiting for bits now, so you'll you'll see them probably in, in one sequence. But I'm videoing them out of sequence. So before I get any sharp-eyed people saying, "Oh, the workshop's changed." Well, yeah, we've we've had the uh, let's move out of the way of the light. We've had the shredder out. There's a there's a chipper shredder under there. Little uh, six horsepower thing. Um, <clears throat> right, let's move on to the uh, the extra set. There's not a lot that needs doing to this, I don't think. Um, it just wants uh, just checking over indexing ready for race season. I'll give it the usual tertiary M check, right? Uh, yeah, it's a problem. Jesus, you can see that. Um, classic Planet X head rock. I don't know, I don't know what it is with those FSA headsets and Planet X bikes, but I use them in other frames and they're fine. But they just every Planet X I get seems to have head knock on it. Uh, wheels are fine and check them just now uh, there's no problems with the bottom bracket don't think no that's fine um, I think are they looks yeah they're looks yeah better looks without the uh, without the play that's good right cool stick it up on the stand and we'll have a close look at what's going on with the gears so I think Jerry said that it wasn't gearing right or I might have got that confused with the other one um, we'll have a look at it anyway. We'll get a check over. To be honest, not a lot needs doing to it. Um, I think the chain's good. We'll check that anyway. Um, it might just need some new cables. We'll have a look at the state of the cables. But And I think she did say that she wanted a shorter thing. And it just so happens I have one exactly the same that is A90. So um, I can swap her that over if she, if she wants. I'll give her a bell in a minute. Right, let's crack on. back back again in the stand let's uh, sit you down there and we'll we'll see what else is going on with this now we've got it on the stand let's have a proper look at it yeah you can actually feel like you you normally have to do it with the brakes but i can actually feel there's a not a lot of head knock on that so we'll we'll give that a tighten up and just check the it's greased okay it doesn't feel like there's any problems it's just not adjusted properly um, we have had problems with the uh, the insert sliding out on Planet X bikes, and the the uh, inside there there's a plug, and the plug gets drawn up, so that when you're actually tightening down to pull pull up on pull up on the forks and push down on the bearings in there, there's no room for the fork tube to come up any further. So it's supposed to sit just slightly below the the um, the stem. Or if it's got a collar around it. Now, sometimes with these collars, it the, it can catch on there, but it shouldn't be anyway. That that should be, you know, it should be about there, really, ideally, sort of about there, just sort of a couple of mil below that below the lip. If especially if you've got a collar, if you've got a collar on the top, it can be slightly above the lip. But hey ho, we'll have a uh, we'll have a quick look at that. Um, brake wise, let's just have a quick check to see they're working. Yep, good response on them. Back ones. Yep, really good response on them. So we'll look at the, uh, yeah, good angle there. Can we see that? I think we've had to, we've discussed on other ones about having too steep an angle when it puts a crease in. Because they're not, uh, they're not drops. It hasn't got a, as much convoluted way, though it does look like uh, that one might have a bit of an issue when you're turning it that way. Because that is over. That does not need to be that long. That could be that could be shorter, or or at least uh, oh, it's because it's coming straight off there. Right, I see. I see what's going on there. Right. Yeah, it's probably better off if it's tucked behind there. Uh, the problem is when you, when you straighten it out, it's got to be able to go around there. So it probably could be a couple of inches shorter. I think it is just a bit too long. You can see, you can see what it's doing to doing to that it's uh, that's not quite right that I'll uh, I might trim that back a bit if I've got to change the cables I definitely will they look okay there's no uh, no filaments loose the ends look okay there's nothing nothing damaged or hanging off there same with that one there's no signs that it's split anywhere to the uh, as 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 usual that one is a bit loose so it shouldn't be that loose that you, you just want to take it out so it's it's got some tension in it. I mean, that, there's not much in there. 
but I mean that's just that's not even vibing. So that probably wants a bit taken out of it, or no, it's adjusted correctly. The that's adjusted correctly. Can you see that? I'm stood in the sun again, aren't we? Let's look from this side. So you, that's adjusted properly. It's down where it should be. What you're looking for is this outer um, part of the baler arm on the front mech to be sort of down the centre of the of the teeth on that bit and in line with the teeth. And that that that's set up absolutely perfect. That's so there's nothing wrong with that. So and it's at the right depth and everything. So it just wants a bit of slack taken out. What it's probably not doing is taking it far enough across. But we'll we'll run through the gears first. Uh, wheels are good, apart from there's a very slow leak on both of them. But they are tubs, so they are stuck on rims. I think we discussed these earlier. There, the inner tube's stitched into the tire, um, and then the the tyres glued onto the the rim, and the rim is has a very shallow dish on it, and you just put some double sided special tub tape on. <sighs> And you can actually see the glue on this one. This one looks like it's somebody's glued it as well afterwards, which you shouldn't really do that. Um, um, it makes a bit of a mess of the rim and uh, it also makes it harder to get off. You should just rely on your tub, your tub tape to do it. So, but yeah, I would say actually looking at that, that I would, I would get that swapped because that has split. So that wants a new set of tubs on it, that I would say. Damn. Right. I will uh, I will tell her this the front wheel's not so bad. I can't see any signs. It is starting to go a bit crusly, but that rim is definitely uh, that tire is definitely split. And it looks alright on that side. Let's have a look at this one. Like it's a different tyre. Yeah, that's weird. Different colour on this side. Yeah. It's interesting. I don't know why that is. I've never seen that. It's a different colour on this side to what it is on the other side. But it definitely. Yeah, it looks it, it's it has definitely split and come away. I'm wondering whether somebody's not stuck it. Ah, I know what it is. It's not been stuck on even. So that should be round more, and that's why you can see it, and you can't see any on this side, because if you look at the wheel, it's definitely not aligned. The centre of the tyre is there, and that is definitely off to one side. So the tyre is pushed over that way. The front one, on the other hand, looks about right. So it is the back tyre that's the problem. Interesting. But it's uh, it's definitely looking like it's... Uh, well, has it? I, I think somebody's had this back tyre off and put it back on. And what we can see there isn't a split. It's the, it's the remnants of the tub tape from before. But I would I would just be a little bit wary of that it's definitely there's definitely some filament there. Or is that that could be part of the tub tape actually? Not sure about that, but it doesn't look brilliant. Anyway, waffling. Let's crack on. Uh, I'm still spinning that. <laughs> yeah, it's got sealed ceramic bearings. I did notice Jerry's other bike. The front front wheel's rocking as well. So I've got to go and have a look at that. It looks like the. The bearings need some adjustment. I think they're adjusters. These are sealed bearings. These. I mean, that that'll run forever. It won't surprise me if they're not ceramic either. <laughs> I'll just keep going and going and going. So, right then. So, tighten up the headset. Let's just see what the gears are doing. I'll just stick you down there while we do that. Can you see there? I hope so. Right. Oh. Yeah, that looks okay. Notch, 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 notch. Yeah, I do know what I'm inclined to leave that. 
I'm more like a salon, to be honest. So there's, a, there's an adjuster on that side there and all we're going to do is, uh, assuming it's not completely seized up, it's just, right, see that's, that's a look, that's a bit better already. It doesn't need any actual tension on it but it's holding its own weight now, it's actually got a bit of a strum. Sorry, I was pointing in the wrong direction. Yeah, it's still loose, but it's not that loose. Let's have a quick look at that. See what that does for things. They're good. They're good too. Nothing wrong with them. Brake line is good. Just the headset to tighten up. And just have a look, see what's going on in there then. If I put you there, can you see? No. If I put you there, can you see? No. Let's stand you over there then. Well, I'll go and get the tape, operating tape out. I'm going to sit you in the cart, the cart that needs a tidy up. Tilt you up a bit. Well that's no good is it, because all I've done is just put you exactly back where you were before. I'll stick you in that one. Alright, let's have a look. Clean, clean your visog. There we go. Job is a good one. <coughs> right. We will need a ten mil, a five mil. We will need the tiny torque wrench. Oh, that and the, so I just have to rub you back a bit and I'll keep banging the drawers into the wheels. And let's have a look at what's going on. In fact, let me just pause you right there and I'll ping Jerry a note. Right, I've just spoken to the young lady that owns this bike. Um, yeah, she says she wants to try the, the stem in it. So, we need to do a stem swap. Now the trick is, is so I don't bugger up her telemetry assuming she's had a bike fit and it's all screwed up. <laughs> we don't want to mess about with that so we've got to make sure that when I take this stem off that her bike angles are at the same thing. It will need, she will need another bike fit because obviously it's coming in by 10 centimetres so potentially but it shouldn't really because you're just bringing it in your hands will still be comfortable in the same place. It's unlikely we'll have to change it but any, anyway it's a good idea to keep things. So Using tape, or bits of uh, paper, because I can't find any tape, what we're going to do is we're just going to stick them on there like that. And there's a good reason for doing this, providing I don't bugger it up. I'll show you in a minute. Pistol, they're not sticking. They're not sticking. One of them stuck, one of them hasn't. Okay, we'll go with the one that's stuck. 
So what we're going to do is that this gives us you've got you've got center line markings anyway, and sometimes they have um, over other markings on to give you a thing. But what we're going to do is we're just going to mark that. Right. So when I take the other one off, all I've got to do is just make sure that this is angled so that that lines up with the center line of that. There you go. Top tip. <coughs> Let us proceed. So we'll just spin out the uh, why can I never get the right one? 57 million Allen keys. Couldn't find the four mil Allen key. Right, so we're just gonna we'll just trim these off so they're ready to go in, so we're not faffing around because I'm gonna have to juggle about twenty different things here. Um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna re oh, just check the bearings as well, so we're probably gonna be as well to drop the the whole thing out, and put it all back together again. So I'm gonna have to uh, put my painted uh, handlebar holder up as well. What I'll leave the standing on your bloody hand. So we'll look at this. Uh, this might give us a clue as to what's going on. They've got so that's okay, that's uh it's one of them though. I don't, don't do not like them. So it is a I've used these plugs before. They had a bit of a bloody nightmare, I'll be honest. Um Yeah, they do have a habit of uh, moving these. So but that one looks okay actually. It doesn't it's not moved, it can't get me nail under it. And there is less gap there than there is below there. So I think. Let me just check. No, actually, it might be a bit tight. No, it looks okay. It's very, very close. So, if you, I don't know if you can see. So there's, there's a little bit of a dish under there. I think it's probably about a mil spare. So, it is close, but I think we can tighten that up. But anyway, all this has got to come off. Boom, 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 off. So, we'll just snag that. Um... <coughs> I'll take the brakes off and I can just drop the forks out um, and then we can re-grease it at our leisure, slide it up and I haven't got to muck about with it and at the same time I can drop the uh, the new stem onto the bars and then I can just drop the bars straight on and the job will be a good one. I haven't got to faff or fight with it. So I'm going to get my little pots to put all my bits and taking off here. I do like these. That way I know I've put everything back on that I took off. So we'll just put the new one over there. Uh, right, is it going to be a five? That's a, that's a five. Didn't know it's actually got thread lock on it. I haven't done many SRAMs for some reason, but they, they do, they, they've got some good sides and bad sides. They don't have a trim, like the Shimano's, but they don't seem to need it. They seem to have this kind of slightly racked trapezium. That means they don't suffer with the same trim issues that the Shimano's do. So even the lower lower, lower end stuff does, does appear to... Uh, come on. Yeah, a little bit tight. All right, tell you what we we'll do, so we don't lose that. Let's put that on the back of there. All right, so give that a quick beckle behind there as well. It's not seen the light of day for a while. All right. Now 
Now I've had these before where that bong is an absolute nightmare. It doesn't fit through the bloody stem when you take the stem off. So we'll see where we are with it. Because what happens is it you when you when you drop the bung in, the bung spreads. And it, it does spread out the, the top of the fork very slightly, if you, especially if it's been over tightened. And it doesn't go through the... Oh, look at that, it's gone straight through. So we'll take that back. Yeah, just got to be careful I don't batter the frame with any of this. Now, normally I'd hang this up from the ceiling, um, especially if it was a mountain bike, but we're not going to be off for that one. So and we'll just drop it like that. So there's usually a, this is the friction wing so there's usually a, a, a rubber seal inside there yeah you can see it and what that does is you drop it on and it grips slightly so it makes it a little bit easier to assemble these that's one of the plus sides of the fsa headsets like i said they're a good headset i use them i use them on most of my builds and there you go and there's a there's a carbon fork just checking over i'll just give that a quick wipe round and then we'll re-lube it before we shove it back in there's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. Seated okay. That's good. Doesn't look like it's got much of the assembly paste left. There's some there. I feel it is, they have used assembly paste, so that's good. That's always a good sign. Like I said, it's Planet X bikes, so they're, they're really decent bikes, and they do they do build them well. They just seem to have this problem with the headsets that you know they just always seem to need tightening. So we'll just give that a quick check, check over, check there's nothing wrong there. No, I could, I could, you know, I could slap grease all over this, but it won't make any difference. And all you're doing is taking the piss because it's a sealed bearing. So the amount of bikes I get that have been to local bike shops and they've paid a fortune to have them serviced, and they just seem to have liberally squirted red grease everywhere. I'm thinking I have absolutely no idea why you've squirted red grease all over that because it doesn't actually do anything. So we'll just clean it up and then what I will do is just smear a thin film on just to put a fresh layer on to stop corrosion and crap from getting in and to make sure it sits nice. So what you do is you put a thin film on and then it, it beds down. It creates like a, a seal and it stops all the crap from getting in. But you don't need to put tons on them. The amount so it just needs that much. You just run it round so it's got a nice. Okay, drop that in. There you go. Jobs are good. And look at the state of that. Uh, forgot to put my gloves on again. This is this is what your parts wash is really for. Not for cleaning your bits. Well, you can't see, can you? Put your hands in your parts washer. I don't know what this. Uh, I don't know what this carbon assembly compound is, but it is. Uh, I don't know what's in it. It's very. Uh, yeah. Right. Let's just uh, drop these off then. Well, we're here. Nope. Come on! You've just had the right one in your hands. Try not to touch her tail. I dropped one. I was trying so hard. not the most ideal way to try and take your, head, your stem off because I am going to drop one of these bolts now and I'm going to drop the stem. And that's good, it's an assembly compound on there as well so that's always a good sign as I keep saying. Right, put that back together. So we're not going to lose anything. Come on, it's all keg handed. That's better. Right.
Right, so we'll just snug that in. There you go. Job is a good one. Right, same thing with the bottom. I'm just going to smear a bit of grease around there just to make sure it keeps the muck out. A little bit more on this one so they tend to take a bit more shit. But you see, it doesn't need to be absolutely all over the place. Just a nice bead of it around there. Spot on. So what I'll we'll do with this one is pull it all the way up. There we go. Always a good idea to make sure that that's with the back. Don't know why, just OCD thing. So we're going to just drop the. Uh, that's it. The tension. That's that. And you see now you can let go of it. You can work on it at your leisure. Right. Is the ninety gone? Where's the ninety? it. So what we'll do first is we'll just nip it up but not tighten it up um, because we've got to put the bars on, put the wheel on and then we can align it. So it's pointless doing everything up really tight until we've got everything on. Oh, that's a, that's a, that definitely is a five. Right. All right, so let's just snug that up. So, Now the only thing we're going to have to be careful of now is that that, uh, that that gear cable that we thought was too long is probably going to be even longer long now. So I've got to make sure that the lines are in the centre so the bars are equally spaced, but they currently aren't. Back again, that's it. That's about right. And then make sure that the marker put that wasn't helpful. Try not to touch your white bar tape with my shitty hands. Oh no, we've lost it all again. Back to business. Back up, back up, back up. Back up. Line up. So what you're trying to do is get the the gap at the top there to be the same as the gap at the bottom down there. So you have to just fiddle it a bit and then one will be slightly bigger and that's the one you torque initially and then you do a final torque on all, all four bolts. You should always torque all four bolts. And if anybody says you don't need to, you're talking out the bottom. Roughly in the right place now, so all we've got to do is just snug the bolts up on this side to get one last final check that we're all in line where we should be. We are. We can take the tape off now, and jobs are good. And right, so just need to torque that up, and it is a torque of six newton meters. So we'll take it to five first and see how it feels.
eight, five. There we go. Make this a gap. Top. Wrong size, wrong. So you just bring them both in at the same time so they don't feel like they're on the same tension. On the German scale at the moment, it's set to gut and tight. <laughs> that joke. See now, did you notice the bottoms one? The bottom ones had torqued, but the top ones still had a good quarter of a turn left in them before they hit their torque. So just check them again now, because as you tighten one bolt up, it takes the pressure off another bolt. See, they they've just. There we go. That's it, we're good. So they're back where they were. Quick log. That's it, so all we need to do now is just um, check that this is a line and sucked up and we've got no plate. And I will just get some brake cleaner on my, uh, my fingers first because I am absolutely covered in that. <laughs> you know it's you know it's uh, really sticky stuff when the parts clean and weight shift it but no, nothing nothing escapes brake cleaner right then let's get this back in that's interesting we've got proper um brake pads on the front for um carbon wheels and and what looks like normal brake pads on the back could be wrong could be me not understanding what i'm looking at but they have Right, so that's everything snubbed up to five, so we're just going to take it up to the six now. You generally don't go above six for anything that's carbon, um, that's got a crushing motion on it. Uh, come on. Right, that's it. Good. Good and tight. Back to the four. Because my four's getting really worn out. That's good. That's good. Cool. Jobs are good. And right, all we need to do is stick the wheel back on. Uh, 
So I'm just checking now that I've got it aligned properly. Yep, there's no uh, no movement. A little bit of movement in the back one now while I check it. good spot on with those touching so what I'm looking for here is that I think I've explained this before I'm looking for both the pads are touching the wheel at the same time and they're not pushing the, the, the tire or the wheel the rim across at all so that looks good so that's ready to go now um, all I need to do is just line the the uh, the tire up um, which I'll be honest is best done off the frame so what I might do is stick you on uh, that went okay. Um, just took about another quarter of a turn to take the slack out of the headset, so we've got no rock there now. So happy with that. Um, right then, what do I need to do? Um, light bit of so you've probably seen me do this a few times. Best thing for getting grease off a frame um, is to use uh, just a bit of WD forty on a on a on a rag will will shift most of it. Um, you do need to test it on the paintwork first, but I know this Planet X paintwork is good. It's almost like a powder coat they use. Um, just having a look at that, actually. Do you know what? That's not that bad. That's fine. It's not not overextending anything, so that looks good. Um, just yeah, that's fine. Then. There's a little bit of noise on it, but. Job is a good one. There you go. Ready to go.